Hello and welcome back to the Argonian Adventures! We have expanded quite a bit, however, we are currently waiting for our offensive war um, opinion penalty to go down to something a lot lower than 25 in order for these factions to no longer exist, which will then in theory make it so that we can declare more wars. That's kind of the plan. In terms of other stuff, um, well, we don't really need to do a hunt or a feast because we don't really need any prestige and we're also, um, well, not stressed. So I guess we could go on a hunt, maybe, just to try and... I think you get legitimacy from finishing a hunt. So we could do that, but we're a really long way away from rank 4. So I'm kind of at a point where I think we just done pause. I don't think there's actually anything for us to do. Let me just double check. So you're married, our second child is 17 and married, third child is 9 and not close to being married. Could potentially marry off courtiers, but I don't see a great reason to do that currently. Yeah, I think we're kind of just going to unpause. I don't think there's a lot for us to do currently. I think just letting things roll. Also, like it may look like these factions are really, really strong. Don't trust what the game tells you. Give it a couple months, then we'll have a look, because it obviously doesn't calculate correctly when you load the game. Hopefully they fix that in a new patch, which is apparently coming out in two days. So, we'll see how that goes. Anyway. Lines about legacy. Still not going to read the poetry. Oh, unpause. And now we'll wait, and the faction is gone. Crazy, crazy. Let's just see here. Yeah, so it's about 34%, which is not really that strong. Also, I just want to check something in here. So that's 14 months till we get this. Now, this will be cool because that is going to give us a bonus when we get it. I think that will give us the hatchling pools bonus for 10 popular opinion. Also, I didn't notice Mirkwood gives us 20% uh, county conversion speed. That's pretty neat, actually. Yeah, okay. I like that quite a lot. Oh, taking Lilmoth might be interesting. Because this, I does this give the same bonus to them of the county conversion resistance? Uh, so let's go to you, right? It does. Oh. So if we take that, they will then be uh, more open to having their land converted. Okay, so where is that land right here? This already is my land. Oh. So all I need to do is get you to convert and suddenly, problem solved. 100% chance you convert. Let's do it. They have converted, which should now mean... Wait, is that right? Did I do that correctly? Yeah. Oh, in which case, actually, I've, I've done the uh, hatchling... Well, I still want to convert hatchling pools, but I realize we, didn't, we don't need to convert the land. We just need to convert the person. Yeah, so can you convert? 47%. Let's send you a gift. Let's see where you're at now. 52%? Uh, that seems possible. Yeah, let's do a little 52%. Unless we've got... You know what we could do? We could look for a court mage and see if we've got somebody who can cast some uh, nice spell on you. Let's see if we've got somebody who's got a spell that would help. Okay, Tar E. So your spells currently are... You have Transmute, which is pretty good. So we might grab you anyway, even if we don't... Yeah, you have Charm. So that is what we're looking for. So you have something, and then the other person, so you have some an Atronach. Yeah, actually, I think that you're pretty much what I'm looking for. Grab Tari. Also get rid of that. You can instruct your court mage. Uh, well, actually, yeah. Uh, cast on my direct orders for now. I just want to see what spells you or like how much uh, magicka you have. You currently have zero. Yeah, so I want to cast a charm spell, which will... It is counted as hostile. How much does it cost for a charm spell? It costs 40. Okay. Let me just see what the penalty would be for casting this on you. Uh, you are going to cast it on them. Charm. I know he doesn't have the magicka currently, but I just want to see. So they would gain opinion of me, but it's just a hostile spell. It doesn't actually have a negative currently. Okay. Yeah, so you could, in theory, cast a very good one at some point. I'm going to roll the dice, and then if it doesn't convert them, we will convert them next time. Also, have we got any vassal contract stuff we could do? Not really, no. Okay. Uh, we could give them an artifact if we've got one free. 
You do have a spear. We have a spear, which is useless, and we could give you a brooch, which is also useless. Although, actually, only you only get one bonus, right? So, just see. So, that's nine. Brooch is five. Okay, I'm going to give you the spear that does almost nothing. That puts it up to a 52% chance. It didn't change it at all. Okay, wonderful. I've decided to follow you into the light. Wonderful. I still wanted to convert this land because I would like it to be our faith, but I just realized that I don't actually need to wait and... Uh, yeah, I don't need to convert the land in order to get the bonus. Okay. So that's 10 popular opinion we just gained everywhere and county conversion resistance for Amber Hist. So Amber Hist is harder to be converted. So that doesn't actually do very much for us currently. But what we've done is we've taken that away from Living Law. So it's now much easier to convert Living Law, which is cool. And the popular opinion should help us um, against any of these that have... Uh, land, which currently none of them do. But if we were to have a look in here at, uh, say, this one, we now have 10 popular opinion, which means instead of plus 2 popular opinion, which could easily switch away from us, we're now at, um, yeah, we're now at 12, which is gives us a little bit more leeway. Right, and that also means that you like me a lot more, because you were the person I just converted, and you were a different religion. Yeah, cool. Okay, well, that's good. Need a guardian for my grandson? Luckily, do you know we have a guardian for you? It's the intelligent person that educates everyone. Wait a second. I'm going to un-remove guardian. I just realized I saw an option there that I hadn't seen before and I didn't read it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back to you. Nope, I didn't. I saw you as a hook. Oh. Okay. Never mind. I thought I saw something else, but I didn't. Uh, I can change your contract. Don't need to do that. Right, and you want to do a martial education. That's fine. You can do a martial education. Doesn't bother me one bit if you want to do a martial education. Right. Also, uh, just because I'm using you. Uh, there we go. Minus 23 for offensive war. Okay. And now we chill. Wait for events to pop up. Could go on a hunt still if we wanted to. Don't really need to. We do need to save up a little money if we were going to create titles at some point, so. Or just chilling. You have just won a war against this person. So you've won a war against Hellstrom's vassal. So Hellstrom Duchy won a war against Hellstrom Kingdom's vassal. Okay. Cool. Cool. Books are expiring. That's fine. We're not overly worried. Hey, 40 popular opinions somewhere. That's interesting. Uh, I was also just seeing how our health is. We're fine apart from it being a lunatic and aging. Okay. Well, I mean, that's fine. Mostly okay. We do, in theory, need to create this em uh, this empire before we die. So, it's worth just keeping an eye on it. Uh, you can um, be my war teacher. That's fine. Okay, making us a little bit stronger. We have 15,000 uh, troops now. How are you feeling? Minus 20 for offensive war. We could maybe do another one. We could take some, like, Gideon here. That would be a quite a good war. That's going to be a lot of land towards what we need, right? Uh, if we have a look at um, this, we need another 34. Okay. Could this be 34 holdings? It could be. Definitely could be. It's not all within um, the Black Marsh, though. This bit at the edge is actually part of the Kingdom of... Nib or the Empire of Nibbane. High Kingdom of Nibbane, as they call it in this one. Okay, so if we were going to attack you, who, who's your ally? Oh, is there two Gideons? There's a Dutch in a kingdom. Oh, okay. So it's not quite as much as I thought. Uh, your ally is this person. Oh, oh they're a vassal. Okay, so you have no ally. Um, in which case, it's 3,000 troops versus 15,000 troops. We could do that. We could do that. I, I could see us doing that. We could also go down s south here and get the rest of Merkmire, which is land that we've already started t getting. Here, religious icon. So, the time it takes to convert a county is no longer increased if that faith has a higher fervor than your faith. Is that currently the case for us versus Hist? Well, our fervor is, uh, yeah, fervor equilibrium is the thing the mod adds, I believe. Uh, we're at 85. I think that just means your fervor tends towards that number. 
and then Hist is 76, so that shouldn't apply to this. But we are at four months left, so we're going to take it anyway. Four months left, yeah, so it didn't do anything, but that's fine. Uh, in terms of this, are we kind of done on this line? I think we're done on this line because we don't need profit because we've already got, uh, we've already done the faith stuff that we need to do. We don't need monthly piety per night. I don't need to any of this. This is all nonsense that we don't need. This one's okay. Level of devotion impact is definitely cool uh, because it give us uh, double this. So we get 40 with any Amber Hiss clergy, but realistically the only one we care about is you currently and you have 100 opinion of me, so... That's not really something we need to worry about. So I guess maybe whole of body makes sense for us next, if we're going down one of these paths. Yeah, either that or pivoting. But I think whole of body could be really good for surviving long enough. Lake Mirror is our other option here, right? So Lake Mirror is part of Mer uh, Merc Mirror, which we already control most of the land in. We can maybe do a war against them and then Deadwater as well. That could be pretty good. Deadwater is allied with my ally, so they're not going to join. And you're allied with your vassal. So they're not going to join. So we could do like a little double war here if we wanted to. Grab a bunch of land down here and get the rest of the land that we've already started taking. The negative for that is that our um, like our troops would have to be raised either down here or um, up here. And they'd have to travel. Which means that they're going to take a while to, ri to raise up. But I don't think that's the end of the world. I think I could be happy with that. Let's, let's wait another couple months. Let our... Um, Offensive war penalty burn down a little bit more and see where things are going. I've been hosting your Root Herald, Raj Nasa Sardwalia, for some time now. The way she imposes herself on my home, all the while encouraging no less than groveling servitude to you, dis disgusts me. What lady would you send such a terrible representative? I didn't mean to send a terrible representative, I'm sorry about that. Send a better one next time. There was a plague! Somewhere. Oh, House Tilvani, so it's up here. Yeah, okay. So we don't need to worry about that at all. That's fine. Vassal was taken prisoner. Vassal was released. So they were taken prisoner. War was won, and they were released as part of the uh, thing for that war. You converted the hatchling pools. Wonderful. Okay, that's neat. Uh, we could go on another Hist Communion. Let's do a Hist Communion, then do the war. I think that makes sense. Also, you can start converting the next one. Which are now all much less in terms of time. These are these were all like eight years initially, and now they're there are four years on some of them, so. Yeah, when you convert, Sul. That seems good. Um we will go on a hist communion to our nicely converted area down here. Yep. Seems good to me. Uh could maybe get a jungle stalker. Uh let's start. Also, uh, did we ever get somebody to fill that position in here? Yes, I did. Okay. As I was just thinking, we just got a new jungle stalker who could have filled it, but we don't need to worry about that. Wonderful. Ist Communion. We have arrived. Wisdom of a Hist speaker. The Hist itself fairly speaks in clear ways. Its communication manifests through the rustling of leaves in the wind the pattern in which bark grows, and the visions induced by the ingesting the sap. These are the forms in which it expresses its will most often. These signs are enigmatic and easily misunderstood, which is why his speakers like Wu Mech dedicate their lives to studying the subtle language of the Hiss. As I hear Wu Mech begin to lecture some of the locals about the Hiss' will, I draw closer, eager to hear what he has to say. So we can listen. We can engage in debate, or we can say he's getting it all wrong. I think we'll say he's getting it all wrong. This is available because of our learning, so let's do it. I made some great points. Fantastic. We're almost at to add max rank for that. Not that that helps us, but anyway. Amber Blessing. Are we going to go back in? Are we going to take the bath again? Oh, obviously, yeah. It blessed us, apparently. Ooh! I am one of the Hist. We are now Amber Blessed, so we get even more stress gain, but our prowess goes up even more. I am one with the Hist. Fantastic. So that now means that our prowess has gone up to a whole 10. Wait a second. That's not right. 
Wait, where, where's our Amber Blessed? It didn't work? Or do we get it when we get home? Um, uh, it didn't work. Oh. Alright then. Well, whatever. <laughs> it's fine. Um, just kind of put a dampener on the end of that one, but that's okay. Uh, I'm sure it said we got, we got it, but yeah, I guess not. Anyway, um... Yeah, I said I was going to declare wars after this. I just want to see where we're at with our independence faction. Also, these are the populists I said would be less likely to pop up due to us getting plus 10, but they currently hate us due to chafing control. Okay, uh, not sure what that's for. County is under the harsh attention of the realm's marshal. Oh, I think they're trying to raise control and they got a negative event. Okay. Uh, that's fine. I think we're ready to go. I just want to double check this. So you're the person who doesn't like us. Uh, minus 15. Yeah, okay. So we're, we've halved our, our, our negative. I'm going to declare a war for Lake Mire. So you can seize to your lands. You could seize your claims. We could do a Conquer Kingdom. Wait, we've also got Conquer High Kingdom. I guess because our level of fame has gone up. So we would have access to that. Okay. I only need to do Conquer Kingdom though. Is this cheaper, by the way? That's exactly as cheap. Interesting. Yeah, and that's still more expensive. Weird. Weird. Alright, well, I'm going to do a Conquer Kingdom War. And on top of that, Deadwater. I'm going to declare Conquer Kingdom War on you. Conquer High Kingdom War on you. Yeah, sure. Seems good to me. Right, uh, now we're going to raise some troops. We're going to raise them down. Uh, well, we're going to raise them up here, actually. So close enough to us. So it's only 17 days we have to wait. It's not a huge amount of time. Yeah, let's go. Hatchling's first teething. We've had this one before. This is our hatchling has their first tooth. We're going to pay them some money and we get the milk tooth. Milk tooth is a terrible artifact, but is worth um, 40 gold if we sell it. So There you go. Okay. Split our army in half. Siegers, your first goal is to go to their capital. Other army, your goal is to go to Lake My uh, Mire in the hopes that we can catch their army. Let's go. Uh, who's going to their capital? But uh, I I'll wait till they split up and then switch the commanders around. Calcinator Treaties. This is an Elder King's event. Gajiti alchemists, deeply attuned to the moons, believe that their phases unlock the Calcinator's potential. During the full moons, they meticulously align it due south, guided by the radiant southern pole star, uh, consulting star charts for precision. As the moons wane, the Calcinator shifts, rotating clockwise each night, or counterclockwise if closer to the southern pole star. During the new moon, it fully embraces the moonlight, promising a distillate purity improved by one part in 47, a subtle but cherished secret of the trade. So I can come up with a better alignment method, method or the Khajiiti method is tested and true. I bet I can do a better one. I didn't. Oh, alright then. Uh, so you're going this way. So you're the one who has the better leader. That's fine. I want to check is, do you have, well, well, one, who is your leader? And then two, do we have a siege leader? We do, but you're commanding another army. Ah. All right, yeah, we have nobody. That's fine. Uh, we'll let these two uh, do their thing. Can you get here without taking attrition? You can, perfect. Go beat up their army. They're running away, but that's exactly why we did it. So, So they would run away. Okay, chase him in here, uh, we're going to catch him, perfect, caught him, and we have defeated them and captured their leader, well, that made it quick, neighboring ruler lost war, so that's the Vene, this is the um, Varensu tribe lost against my vassal in a war for, for this, so my vassal has just expanded in into this land here. Neighboring ruler won war. So you've won a war against Soul Rest. Okay. For this uh for this land right here. Okay. Cool. 
Well, that's, that's neat. Well, we captured the enemy leader, so I guess I'll just enforce demands. Okay. Well, that was surprisingly easy. You can transfer va uh, vassals to rightful leashes. Sure. Let's do that. Designate a guardian for my granddaughter. Uh... The intelligent person busy? Yeah, they're busy. So who's this? So this is your second child. Uh, who's your educator? Oh, it's, it's the mother. I see. Yeah, so you're doing an intrigue education. I'm just gonna get this. I'm gonna get my son to educate you for now. We'll sort it out later if we need to. Right. Uh, well that's pretty good. We got echoing ho uh, hollow in here, which we don't really need. Echoing Hollow is de jure part of the Duchy of Lakemire, which is de jure part of the Kingdom of Merkmire, which also doesn't exist. Okay. Uh. Do we need this land? I mean, we could hold this land anyway, because we is it within our domain limit, so there's no reason not to hold it, I guess. Yeah, we'll hold it. That's fine. Um. These new vassals, though, I just want to briefly go through them. And just check their vassal contracts. Also convert any that will convert. So I just want to do a quick... Uh, can I change you to fame? No, so you're opinion based. Um, okay. Yeah, I cannot get you there. Because government type is tribal. Is the reason why I can't do that to you. Okay, weird. You? You're already on fame. Oh yeah, will you convert? That's the other one. 96% yes. 100% yes. Uh, you're already... Yeah, you're already there. I think that's fine. I think that's everyone who was new. Okay. Or maybe you? Uh, I've already looked at you. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So, uh, army of the siege um, person head in here. Other army head towards this area, I guess, for now. You've asked me to promote your legend. I say no, I will not promote your legend. Because you are Drethen. Well, not Drethen. You're, you're Dre... You're, you're Dunmer. I keep using the wrong term, and then I realize I'm using the wrong term, and then I panic. That's fine. Uh, okay, you're going to head here, then. Yeah, you're going to head here, but you're not going to pay 60 to head here. Oh, you're going to pay 60 anyway? Oh, okay. Then, then yeah, then... then Alright, cancel. Go here. If you're going to have to pay 62 anyway, then you might as well do that. Hatchlings first in Robin. In, in Robing, we've had that one several times. We'll just say Prince of Fashion and move on. Neighboring ruler lost war. You have lost a war against my vassal. Ooh. Priory of Pantherfang. Okay. Cool. Is that also within the Black Marsh? No, that's within Nibine. Okay, well, there you have it. And the other one that we got previously, that was also with the Nibine. So our vassals have been expanding outside of the Black Marsh, which is intriguing. Anyway. Hey! We've won the battle. Your next job is to probably head here. Uh, can you head here the long way? There we go. Do something like that. I don't need to spend money chasing that army. This is okay. I think we'll probably win when the siege finishes, so that's good. The Tribunal Temple just won a war, but that seems like it's an internal war between the people of the Tribunal Temple, like uh, all of those guys up there. That's fine. Okay. Their army just lost another battle. Court position de uh, vacated. You oh, oh, don't... Dozuzeus is dead. Oh no, that's also my court physician who's gone. Okay, well, need a new physician. Could put in a tutor here. Have we got the ability to look for one? We do. Okay. Show me who's available. Mm -mm. Uh, we got anyone who isn't a... Uh, we got anyone who happens to be like an Argonian here? No, I think they failed to impress me. I'm sorry. Egg laid. Let's get ourselves a new court physician. It's going to be um, my husband and spouse. Then court tutor is going to be my champion. Wonderful. Right. 
Hey, we captured a valuable prisoner. Well, two valuable prisoners, which gives us enough to get a 100% war score. Although we can actually ransom those valuable prisoners back because uh, we have a 100% war score even without them. There we go. We'll do another ransom as well here. Get whatever money we can for these guys. And we'll do another ransom. Ah, you're not going to give me money for that one. That's fine. Uh, new learning perk. Anatomical studies makes our court physicians uh, better. And then we're going to enforce our demands. Cool. So, we're taking that new land down here. And then these people, we want to just modify their vassal contract. So, immediately put them onto the fame contract. And ask that they convert. Although, I could send this person a little gift, maybe. See if they'll convert with that. Uh, this is land that I shouldn't hold. What was it de jure part of? This is de jure part of the Kingdom of Merkmire, the Duchy of Deadwater. So, you probably should have these two titles. There we go. And then this other one is part of the Duchy of Lakemire, which you actually already hold. So, you probably desire that title. You do. So, I'm actually going to grant you that one as well, because it's not really giving us very much. Then a Veek up here, which we just got, because it's a Hist holding that just finished building. Okay. Cool. That's good. Right. Uh, that guy probably hates me a lot less now. Yes, that is correct. Okay, Deadwater probably likes me quite a lot. And then you... Uh, yeah, you're fine. Okay. Let's clear out this. And we've got some prisoners who can be ransomed. Yeah, 10 gold. 10 gold. Uh, you would give me a hook on your... It would be a hook on this per on yourself. Okay, so... You're shrewd, actually. You want to be recruited? Yeah. Why don't you get recruited? Why am I recruiting the shrewd guy? Also, you gain a weak hook on me? Uh, I'm not going to bargain for your soul. Right, so why do we want the shrewd guy? Well, if we go down to you, shrewd is one of the good education traits. So actually, what we can do here is we can educate you with the shrewd person, which will then mean that we have a good educator. Wonderful. Seems good to me. So, now we've done that, do we have enough for an empire? No, we are missing uh, 24. Wow, that was not nearly as much as I thought it would be. Okay. Um, Alright then. Uh, well, we need a little bit more then. How's our legitimacy looking after those as well? We didn't get any legitimacy for those. We could get some for creating titles. I mean, how much is this? So this is 100, 100, 50, 50. So that would get us uh, 200 overall. Oh, sorry, that would cost us 200 overall. And would get us 150 legitimacy. 150 legitimacy is not anywhere near 1,400. Sorry, that's not gonna... It's not even gonna move the needle, really. So, yeah, I don't really know what we can do here. There's something to do for a royal court. Well, we don't have a royal court because we're not feudal. Huh. Yeah, makes a lot of sense. Makes a lot of sense. Uh, yeah, I was thinking maybe it's something to do with our royal court not get, like, us not getting legitimacy that way, but we don't have a royal court, so that can't be true. Although, I don't even think there are royal court things that are, like, just give you legitimacy. There might be events that give you legitimacy via the royal court, but anyway. That's fine. Um, we could request a shadow scale as well now if we wanted to, but we kind of need to save money. Can't do autocratic yet because we don't have the innovation still. Yeah, that's our main uh that's our main blocker is innovations. We are nine years away from that, we're sixteen years away from ledger. Okay. And all the other ones are going up slightly with time, it's just gonna take us a long time to get there. Okay. Um Dunno, so think of what we need to do next. How's our offensive war uh, negatives looking? We are currently at negative 25. So let's let that burn down a little bit here. Yeah, just let it continue to burn down a little bit. I'm not going to promote your legends. I'm sorry. You can ask me as many times as you like. The answer will be uh, no. Yeah, I don't think that's uh, good for us in the long term. Right. 
At least we're making a bunch of money. That's pretty good. We could potentially make these, actually. I think I should transfer this person to you. That makes sense, because he's just created the duchy. Yeah. Okay, uh, I will grant you the vassal that you want. Okay. Although that is one that I can't create now. Do I want to create these? In the kingdoms could lead to problems, but they will also give us legitimacy in the short run. Uh, yeah, in the short term. That could, that could be okay. I'm not entirely sure what I can do to gain legitimacy. Does it tell me here? Uh, initial legitimacy. Making marriage proposals. Yeah, yeah, can't do that, really. Vassalization and alliance is more likely to be accepted. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. I think we just you just meant to gain it from character to character, and it's meant to slowly go up, so... Yeah, I don't think there's anything we can actively do. I do remember on our previous campaign that we played, the legitimacy was basically just something that we got to max and then it just stayed there. Right? It didn't ever really go down until we got the things that we could actively spend it on. I think we were spending it on... Um, I can't remember. It was something to do with expanding. But it cost us some legitimacy to do it. And that's what we were effectively spending it on. But we just we could create so many titles at that point. We just pushed it up. But yeah, I don't know. My son. We have a new son. Born under the sign of the mage. Those born under this sign are said to have an innate talent for spellcasting. But also lose their attachment to worldly matters. So he is attuned and the mage. Ooh. Okay. Problem with having another son? Well, it means the land gets split even more. So... It means this land split, this land split, this land split, and this land split. Now that I think about it, the kingdoms are created either way because that's what Confederate Partition does. Confederate Partition splits the land by creating new titles. So, I mean, there's no reason not to create the titles then, right? Apart from spending the money. Because if we're going to have the titles created anyway, we may as well create them and gain the legitimacy from them rather than having them created for us later and getting nothing. Yeah, I guess I might as well. So let's create this one first, which isn't even something I like. This isn't even relevant, this one. I'm going to grant it to somebody down here who likes us, probably. Whichever one of these likes us most. So you. I'm going to grant you this. So this is going to push her out from underneath her liege, which is why I'm doing this. So we'll do that. And they now like us a lot for giving them the title as well. Uh, we're going to create the Kingdom of Mirkwood, which we're going to keep ourselves. And we're going to create the uh, Kingdom of Mirkmire, which we will again keep ourselves. It cost us a lot of money to do it, but it has like, raised our legitimacy. That seems a lot closer to this. Wait a second, this, is, this only requires you to have 800. I've been misreading this. I thought this was to the next rank. 14,000 is the max. Oh! In which case, we're really, really close to 800 legitimacy. Ah. Yeah, that was a deliberate mistake. Yeah, so I could show it off later. Yeah, that's what that's what I was doing there. Um, no, I just... I got it wrong. I misread the uh, this screen. I know. Should, should be easier. Turns out it's not. Right, you. Um, Fence of War minus a... Minus 20. Also, I just weakened this guy by uh, taking um, a vassal from them. So, they are definitely a little weaker. Let's wait a little bit more on this. Let's let that burn off a little bit more. Earn some money. The Truth of Minotaurs. Another um, Elder King's event. A fierce dispute has erupted among scholars. Tyronius Leor and Nonus Capreni Caprenius regarding Minotaur's origins. Lior argues that Minotaurs stem from alchemical mishaps or arcane experiments, a widely accepted view. Herprenius uh, insists on their divine lineage from Alessia and Mori House. This scholarly clash challenges conventional wisdom, urging discerning minds to weigh the evidence and pick between evidence-based Lior and provocative Caprenius. Hmm. Well, uh, what, what do we think we would go for? Divine Lineage or Arcane Experiments? I think we'd say it's, it's probably the Divine. That seems like our kind of thing. My hook has expired. 
Okay. I can join your grand tournament. You're going to do a duel followed by a board game. Okay. Where are you? Wait a second. No, no, no. This is house in Dorals. Uh, no, I'm not going to go... I'm not going to go up here to go for a grand tournament. There was one in the Black Marsh, maybe, but, like, not going to do that. Oh! The twisted turns of fate have not always been to my advantage. Hiss knows I was cursed the day I met Princess Pasha. Today, however, that curse has been lifted. Fate has smiled upon me and brought that chattering lummox to her grave. Okay. So, she is now dead, which obviously killed the faction that was, like, put her in charge because, well, I mean, she doesn't, like, she's not here anymore. Uh, just seeing here. Can I fire you yet? Nope. Nope. I cannot fire you for another, uh, 17 years. Wonderful. Okay. Cool. You've arrived with a claim on something. Uh, don't really need to press that. How's the offensive war stuff looking? Offensive war is minus 18. Wait a little bit longer. I'm still not going to promote your legend, but I see you up upped your price by another, uh, five gold. Or your offer by another five gold. That's good. Okay. Knight qualified to a uh, dual tournament. Well done. Well done. As long as it says qualified, not won. But, you know, we'll take what we can get. Okay. And uh, Knight qualified for the board game tournament as well. Ooh, cool. Uh, factions aren't looking that strong. How is this looking for Offensive War? Minus 15. Well, that's when we declared the last one. Now, we do have some land in Solarest here. We could declare a war here and take this... Uh, land back from you guys, or we could go for Gideon, which is, would connect more of our land around here. I do like Gideon, just because it means that Hellstrom right here is surrounded. I kind of like the concept of just having our one ally completely encircled by us. We create the Empire and then we just immediately absorb them. I think that could be cool. Um, what happens if I conquer Kingdom? Ah, I don't get as much. Yeah, we can maybe conquer High Kingdom here. Sure, why not? We need to create the High Kingdom. It has to be done. And it means I can raise my troops closer to uh, our capital. Wonderful. 22 days left. That seems like that's taking a lot longer than you would think it should take. Let's disband those and move this a little closer, a little bit over here. Why is it taking so long? It still takes 22 days. Maybe I have someone stationed in a weird bit and that's taking longer. I don't know why it's taking longer to raise here than it was to raise down here. Anyway, doesn't matter. We also have more troops, I guess, so maybe that's the reason. Where's their capital? Their capital is there. Uh, also, they only have 3,000 troops still, right? Yeah. Uh, they're also attacking somebody for the Duchy of Gideon, so we probably want to wait for that to end as well. So they, we would love them to win that war for the Duchy. And then we will get that as well at the end of the war. Okay, so split our land. One of our siege units, you're going to head for their capital. Yeah, that's exactly how I imagined you going for that. Other one is going to head in here for now. And we'll see where that where this takes us. Right, go. Okay. Invited to a grand wedding. Uh, I am a little busy, but I didn't... I couldn't help but notice you're a behemoth. Cool. Okay. I mean, it's a client, but, like, thank you for the invite. I'm not really a social person. Right. Moving in here. Oh. Random army that we can just defeat upon arriving. Okay. Uh, available perk. Uh, we're going to take... Wash your hands, which makes us less likely to get disease. Is that the one we want? Yeah, I guess it is, because I want Iron Constitution afterwards, so. I don't think we've got a high chance of disease, though. I'm fairly certain that we read something that said that we had um, less disease, which is good. Oh, we've accidentally ran into their army. Okay, well. Oh, we accidentally ran into their other army. Okay, well, that's not ideal. How's the war against Gideon going? 91%. Yeah, so you really need to get another siege going. So you, fighting us was really not ideal for you. We could have maybe held off on our war, but 
That's okay. Uh, staring at stars. But all my evenings watching stars, I've seen with my own eyes what I've only heard before. Stars move at different speeds and reverse their course at different times, but seemingly in large groups depending on which celestial sphere they belong to. Indeed, with the right calculations, one could even predict their movements. My amber speaker does not approve, of course. Leave the skies be, the celestial realm is for the priesthood to know. Okay. We'll do as told. You've increased control in Uxistiel. Fantastic. So we're now getting the max out of that holding that we can get. Now, if we have a look in here, do we still have the... Do we still have the living law populace that are mad here about chafing control? Uh, I'm going to send my person over here to help them get that gone. Because uh, there should be a chance that we can remove that from them. Dress Hunter uh, is dead. So we now need a new Dress Hunter. The new Dress Hunter is nobody because we have nobody uh, eligible. Alright, well we'll seek a worthy successor then. Roach needs to be repaired. Uh, I think I might just destroy it, given that we're not using it. So, there we go. And that'll save us uh, the money on the repair. It costs us almost as much to repair as it would to uh, destroy it. So, Or like, as we would gain from destroying it, I should say. Uh, head down here. Visions of the Divine. I beckon my amber speaker, Uwa Jeka, to join me in the circle of brass orbs and candles arranged on staffs throughout the dark room. The incense clawing the air to ward off the bad vapors makes our eyes tear up or tear up in little time. This is how, through the corner of our eyes, we'll spot the inscrutable form of angels. However, Uwa Jeka soon takes pause. This feels wrong. These are divine beings, not meant for mortal eyes to see. Don't say my, my intentions are pure. You can leave, or fool's errand if not a sin in it itself. Maybe we accept that it is a sin. Yeah, we move on. Okay. Blackmail. Um, my Greetings, my serene liege. My regrets it's come to this. I know that you are Ulysses' um, real killer. If you wish for my silence, you will do as I say. Yeah, but he was terrible. He needed to die. You're gonna blackmail yourself on, onto my council? Your little so-and-so? Have I already changed her contract? Uh, yeah, for it's already changed, so literally all they could do is push herself on my council. I accept. Yeah, you can blackmail me. Whatever. <laughs> Is a little annoying, but yeah, okay. My grandson needs an educator. Well, we have someone shrewd who can educate you in your intrigue education. Awesome. Right, uh, your goal is to now head here to beat up these raiders who just happen to be in the way. Then we're in a siege. My acquaintance died. My neighboring ruler won a war. Just kind of an internal war up north. We have somebody who may be appointed the Dress Hunter. Well, let's see if we've got s someone who would be su suitable. Yep, 12 prowess. So we're going to say, you are now in here. Perfect. Wonderful. Right. Now, to sieging. Uh, both of these are going all right. I think this one's going to finish first. Our level of devotion has gone to max. And we gain the Legend Seed. Oh, cool. That's the first legend seed we've got, right? Oh, no. It's actually the second legend seed that we've got. We have nowhere near enough money. I made legends a lot harder to get with our game rules. Maybe over... Um, yeah, maybe, maybe made that a little bit too difficult to get in the game rules. But, uh, yeah, we should maybe think about that at some point. Okay. Anyway, uh, max level of devotion gives us 30 opinion of all Amber His clergy, which is nice. You've also finished converting Soul, I just saw there. So, you can now convert um, be this land right there. Okay. And we now have 100% war score. They're just de-sieging our siege, so they're not even trying to win the Gideon War anymore. So, I'm just going to enforce demands. Gets us 50 legitimacy for doing it. We get three, oh, sorry, we get four vassals, which is good. Wonderful. Disband our troops. 
you're no longer in that war. Legitimacy has now put us up to almost enough legitimacy to uh, say that we are rightfully at the right amount of legitimacy. Uh, we have some land to give away as well that we just gained. So this land is all part of the Duchy of Cold... Well, some of it's part of the Duchy of Coldmoor, which I'll create. I'm now going to give that to you if you'll convert. You would convert if I gave you the Duchy. So let's give you all of this. Wonderful. Then I'm going to ask that you convert. Then we'll have a look at your vassal contract afterwards. The other one is part of the Duchy of Gideon. Okay. Which we currently um, yeah, don't hold. Stewardship wise, we're exactly a multiple of six, which means unless you go from Yeah, so you can we can only get an extra plus two from our king. It means we're not gonna be able to hold this extra one. But what I might do is I might give away this hist holding that's currently doing nothing. So we'll just a randomly generated courtier. So now we can hold on to this bit of land over here. Which is worth a little bit more to us. Which is nice. Okay. Other people. You. Manage vassal contract. Fame. Let's do it. So you're now going to give me something. I'm now going to want you to convert as well. Uh, what other land did we get? We got this land as well. Uh, that's fine. Uh, that is new land I think. Yep. Yep. We'll demand your conversion. Then you as well, I think, are the last one with your little eye patch, which is very interesting looking. Let's do that. Okay. That's fine. Um. Oh, that was the last one. Perfect. Uh, you're already on fame, Coldmore. Oh, you're still considering the proposal? Cool. Coldmore, uh, you're already on fame. Wonderful. So we now have that bunch of uh, new people converted. Now, I just want to check whether we can create the Empire. Uh, we are nine off creating the Empire. If we had a little bit more legitimacy, we might actually be able to do this. Oh, I can also ransom somebody who was randomly in my prison. Oh, I usually execute you, but you got off because I accidentally uh, clicked the button early. Ooh, you're ghost bound. Ooh. I'll just let you go for a hook. We'll let you continue. Okay. A wild stag appears. While I was rushing from one appointment to another, Laratan approaches me, color escaping from her face. My liege, I beg for your mercy. A wild stag has gotten into my place. Can you hire someone to take care of that? I can set up a bounty or I have no time. I'll set up a bounty for you. I don't see why we wouldn't. Okay, it was effective. Wonderful. I got 10 gold there. Uh, what's our legitimacy? Legitimacy is seven off. So is there any title I can create? Yes. And create the duchy of this land up here. So I will create it. Doesn't include my land in it, unfortunately. Let's give it to Eyepatch Man. So I'm going to give you... Yeah, I'm going to give you this. So not this. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to give you that one. Fine, he desires my land, or he now desires my land, but that's okay. Um, that has now raised my legitimacy up to the next level, which now means that it lowers the number of de jure titles I need, or number of titles I need to create something. I need one more title? I'm still off. It's only a 5% discount. Oh, okay. So I need that, and I need a little bit more money to make it. So how much more money do I need? So if we had let them finish that duchy war first before the clearing, we would have had enough as well. Um, I need 200 gold. So I need 200 gold and one title. Okay, well, that seems like a good point to end the episode. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.